you look at your good qualities, all the things, all the magic you bring to life, and look at that. And you will be amazed, really amazed, of how many amazing qualities that you do possess. And these qualities that you do possess comes from your divinity. It comes from your connection with the source. It comes from your connection with God. It comes from your direct connection with the Grand Spirit. So you do have the Grand Spirit presence in you. And if that's the case, that means life, existence, loves you for having its presence in you. And so if the Grand Spirit wants to live through you, life is excited to live through you, then you should be excited to live life. and go through life with a different point of view, with a different light. Because life has chosen you, so you can choose life and say yes to it, and live it, and accept it. And even embrace challenges that come on your path. Challenges come Things happen all the time. It's your attitude of how you treat it, how you say, you know, I, I have challenges happen to me all the time. So I can say, ah, oh, another time, ah, oh, life sucks, ah, oh, oh my God, I always have a bad luck and why it's happening to me. Or I can embrace it and say, I'm going to take care of this thing. That's fine. Let's find a way to take care of this problem. And in that, you keep expanding and getting bigger. <clears throat> you know, you really have this path in front of you. It's already set. It's already in front of you. You're on it. You're walking it. The support is here. You have your, your guru, you have your teacher, you have your inner guides, you have the spirits, you have your family. Everything you need is here. It's all available for you. Yes, Rosalie. Yeah, uh, see one me. One moment, Rosalie. Okay. Okay. I can be mad on people when things have happened around me. I can forgive them. And I don't accept what they have done, so I just leave it there. But I can never, ever hate anyone. I'm not able to do it. I'm so happy to hear that. So the same what people have done to me, and I am self, I, I see it myself, I do wrong thing myself. And I get mad and I get really mad, like a bitch, I right. tell you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm not able to hate any. I understand. That's beautiful. That's a great accomplishment. I'm very happy to hear that. I, I experience, I feel the same way. There are times that I may get very upset, angry or whatever, and it bubbles up and I have to express myself either publicly, outwardly or inwardly, but then it goes away. Yeah. It's not being carried anymore. But I can forgive, but that's the same that I accept the situation, but I can forgive it. 
Yeah, that's that is truly the vision, and to see uh, everything from the five D, from the fifth dimensional awareness of people do stupid things. You know, things happen under circumstances, and sometimes, a lot of times, they don't mean to hurt you. Sometimes, maybe they they mean to hurt you, but when I look at it. Each and every person only operates from the level of intelligence that's available to them. They can never operate from something that they don't know or they don't have access to. So if they do something that they hurt me, I always look at it that this is all they know. This is all they could do. Okay. So then there's then I then I don't hate them. Maybe there's an expression of anger in a moment or disappointment, but there is no room for hate. I have never yeah. hated anyone, and I'm not going to hate anyone. Right, beautiful. I'm happy to hear that. That's wonderful. Yeah. Anyone else? Any questions? I have a new person here. Hi, uh, Katrina uh, Derby. Where, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Connecticut. Okay. Is this your first time on the Academy? Uh, nope. It's actually my second. I came a few months ago, actually. Okay, great. Well, welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, nice to have you here. I really love what you're saying about, um, about like the ego and kind of like inflating yourself, I guess, like following like a middle path. Yes. And I find like a lot of people get attracted to me that are like really inflated with their ego. Okay. So I guess, I'm not sure it's like a question, but maybe for myself, like how do recognize or manage or kind of see where that like that lesson is for me um you know because sometimes that can be i can be very sensitive and find it to be hurtful right so let me see if i understand the first part of it you mentioned that a lot a lot of time do people get attracted to you with a big ego yeah is is that what you're you're referring to yeah and they'll be like try to be you know kind of like really forceful in their words and kind of like for me it feels like i'm being like pushed around um and so i really have to like push back and i don't push back the way they push back but the, i don't like right. being spoken to and um that in that way so okay so let me uh uh, so let's say there is this person who's attracted to you and they want your attention and then they get very, they're not very nice when, when they can't get what they want. 